Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. It is almost 11 a.m. I had a pretty chill morning with Chad. We went up in the attic and got all of our fall stuff down so I am pumped. I am so late this year which is very unlike me. Every single year I get my stuff out in September and it's already October 7th and I still haven't got my fall stuff out. So we're doing that today and I'm pumped. I'm actually at TJ Maxx really quick. I really just came out of the house to go and grab a coffee because I want it to like be super productive and I want it to get, you know, a nice little fall drink. But Chad asked me if I can get another entryway rug because our other one we threw away because it was just really old. So he asked if I could like just stop somewhere and get an entryway rug, which little does he know was a really bad idea to ask me to do that because of course I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx and of course I'm gonna look around. But I'm not gonna buy a bunch of random fall decor because I literally have an entire box that we just pulled down from the attic. So I know I have decor and it doesn't make sense to buy stuff now like when I haven't set everything out to kind of like see what I need, you know? I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights. Yeah. So I just did some damage. I'm back home. Here's my quick little TJ Maxx haul. Even though it looks like I got a lot, I really just got stuff that we need it for the house. So this is the new rug that I got. It's just like a dark gray color just to put in front of our entry door. I got this, which is actually a bath mat, but I'm gonna use it for Trooper's food and water bowl because right now the one he has is not absorbent at all and he makes a mess and gets water everywhere and we have to get a towel and clean it up because you know it doesn't get absorbed by his current little like dog food mat. So I got this and I'm like, you know what? I know it's a bath mat, but it's like a really small bath mat and I feel like it looks way prettier than like the dog mat ones. So gonna use that instead and I also got two new bowls trooper has to use a slow feeder bowl so I got this because I thought maybe I could put it in here it would look a little nicer if I like put his ugly colorful slow feeder bowl inside of this I don't know if it's gonna fit I got two of them so that way you know, it matches the water bowl and I got these really cute socks because just how cute I mean I'm a sock person I like socks and I got Trooper this toy. Chad wanted some toys to play with Trooper outside and he had mentioned that to me a while ago. So I got this, it's like a little thing he can chew on. And then I got these Kong balls cause we always give him tennis balls, but he destroys them. So I saw these for only five bucks and these are like the Kong ones. So hoping they'll be a little stronger for him. And then, oh yeah, I got this little makeup thing. I used to buy these on Amazon like years ago and then I found them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods and stuff like that and they're always so much cheaper so I got this one. This would probably be like $15, $20 on Amazon and it was only six bucks. And I got two candles. Let me take these out. Okay, normally I do buy candles from Bath and Body Works but they haven't had a candle sale and I refuse to pay full price or even $15. I like to wait for them to go on sale. And when they're really cheap, I'll go in there and get candles from them. But since they haven't been on sale, I just decided to get these ones. This is my favorite candle brand besides uh, Bath & Body Works. It's the DW Home. They have the best smelling candles. They burn for so long and they're like really, really scented like Bath & Body Works are. So this one is Autumn Morning and this one is Autumn Leaves. Both of these are like really neutral scented, just like fall aroma i don't know how to describe it they're both so good though okay before i can start decorating i have to clean up this disaster of a house so i'm gonna wash all of our throw blankets on the couch because ever since we started letting this one up on the couch there's doggy hair everywhere you have to get up i'm sorry there was a part of me that knew that and still i got a surprise i thought you'd always be mine Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby going down, 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 down Baby going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes Baby going down, 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 down Yeah And I thought It's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Just thought I should let you know Oh, no, no, no. 
always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby, going down, 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 down Baby, going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep... I'm in the midst of my cleaning And I decided I wanted to go and get some more fall decor Nothing crazy, but I just feel like some of the stuff that I was using in years past is just a little bit too, like, I don't want to say childish, but like colorful and like, I don't know, I just want it to look more like nice looking, like a little more like clean, my decor. So I put out some things, but I don't have a whole lot. I thought I had more and I feel like I have like empty spots. So I'm going into Home Goods really quick to get a couple of things. And I have to go into Target too because Chad needed me to get a couple things in there. So I'm going to see if I can find a fall floor mat to put in front of our sliders. And then I want to get like some more kitchen towels. The ones we have are really old. I'm going to wash them and use them anyway because they're like really absorbent. So they're really good for drying dishes. But like I want some cute ones, you know. And then I also just want to find like some cute little decor that doesn't have to do with pumpkins and doesn't have writing on it because I have a lot of pumpkins and I have a lot of stuff that says like gather thankful family like I want things that don't say anything that makes sense so we're gonna go check out home goods I'm absolutely obsessed with all of like spooky stuff but we're already in the middle of October now so I feel like it would just be so short-lived for me to get to enjoy any of this so I'm gonna try to just stick with fall stuff already forgetting what I came in here for but luckily I did write it down on my phone okay here we go this is a cute little spoon rest. This little sign is super cute, but it's $30 and I definitely do not have a spot big enough for that. But maybe I could do something with this. What does it say? I'm assuming it doesn't just say hello. It has to say like, hello fall. Now I'm putting it back because remember I said I don't want to buy any more things with words or pumpkins. And what am I going for? Everything with words and pumpkins. Like, what else is fall though? I need like some other stuff. Well, it's way later now. <laughs> I didn't vlog any more of me decorating, but I finished decorating everything and I've literally been non stop cleaning all day. We deep cleaned, like, I mean, we're talking like top of the refrigerator, like cabinets underneath of things. We never even go through like pulling out the couch, pulling out the coffee table, like way deeper clean that needed to be done, you know. It was like well overdue. But we got it all done and we're about to have dinner. We're having our Italian noodle soup. It's a HelloFresh recipe that we're obsessed with, but we just buy the stuff and make it. But I'll do a little B-roll montage thing of the decor. How satisfying. Fresh, hot soup right after we just finished decorating for fall. So excited. I'm also having a little bit of wine and we made our toast that goes with the soup. It's usually supposed to have ciabatta bread, but we didn't get ciabatta bread, so we're just using regular bread. It's the next day now, obviously. I'm in my car. I just got out of the orthodontist. I finally made the commitment to use the referral my dentist gave me and go to the orthodontist to correct the crowding that's on my bottom teeth i have crowding and i have an overbite and this is all related to me not wearing my retainer i had braces way back when when i was in high school like eighth and ninth grade like middle of high school and my teeth were once perfect and even though they're not like terrible by any means i know i have a decent smile i want to correct the overbite and i want to correct this crowding and i want my teeth up here to just be like more aligned which they're not bad by any means but i just I don't know, I just want like a more perfect smile. I mean, if I'm gonna be going through the process of doing the Invisalign on the bottom, I might as well correct the top as well. And the orthodontist was super nice. He's younger and really cool. He actually went to UF, so go Gators. And he's gonna be helping me with the whole process. It is a massive, massive investment getting Invisalign. Like more than I thought, but obviously worse because I don't have insurance. I just officially committed to it. I'm gonna have to wear them for 14 to 16 months. Or was it 12 to 14 months? Um, but they won't come in for like another month. We did the digital scan today and sent everything over. And this is it, like I officially committed and I'm so excited because 
like I am gonna be you know basically a year maybe a little more away from finally having my perfect smile but I am at Starbucks right now and the nail salon I'm like in front of both here I'm gonna go grab a coffee and then I'm gonna go get my nails done I think I might get my acrylics off because they're really chipped up and I'm tired of them. I just came home to the most beautiful bouquet of flowers and no, this is not from Chad. It's actually so sweet though. You guys will not believe who sent this to us. I told you guys that when we put Stetson down, of course we had to contact Chewy because that's who we ordered his food from and we had it set up to like automatically deliver, but we had to cancel that because sadly we wouldn't be needing food anymore. And they were so kind and they actually refunded us for the bag that we had most recently got and told us to donate it, which we did. And then, to my surprise, Chewy actually sent us these flowers with a little note that says, we're so sorry to hear of your loss. Our hearts go out to you. We know this time is tough and we're here if you need anything. You're Chewy family. And I am just blown away. Like, I've always loved Chewy. I mean, that's why we use it for our dogs. But like, if you've been considering using their service, seriously, shout out to them. They just sent us these beautiful flowers and I just thought that was really, really kind and definitely unexpected. Got some other packages in and this one is Kendra Scott. This is the prettiest bracelet ever. It's a gold chain link bracelet, but it has like diamonds on every other little link. And then we got some rings. So these ones just like stackable rings. And then I think also in gold, so pretty actually goes really well both of these with this and then this next box is from urban outfitters and i didn't order anything so i'm wondering what this is i did work with them a while back but i've never just got pr from them for no reason it says coffee and clothes thanks for being a part of our urban outfitters community we got a really cute coffee mug that says coffee and clothes from urban outfitters and then these are coffee beans. That's awesome. We'll try it and we'll be excited about that. Stickers, I do love some stickers. Ooh, and a five minute journal. I literally just saw someone with this and I was like, I wonder if I should get this. But every time I start a journal thing, I fail to continue with it. But this one, it's a really popular one. It's very pretty too. And then we got a coffee scoop that is also a bag clip. Wow, how handy is that? I love it. It's a bunch of sheet masks, you guys what okay i love these sheet masks too it's like one of my favorites and then i don't know what this is an outfitter's home oh it's just a throw blanket this is so soft too oh my gosh thank you so much urban outfitters i am so excited right now i can't believe urban outfitters actually sent me pr i love urban outfitters you guys probably just saw my nails and are like what happened to your nails well i'll tell you so <laughs> I decided that I want to try to save a little bit of money by doing my nails, which I did talk about this like when I did my budget in video. And I thought now was the time to do it because I really wanted to get my acrylics off anyway. And rather than paying the money to get my acrylics off and then get gel polish on my nails and, you know, have a manicure, it would have been like 50 something maybe without a tip. So more than $50. And I've been really, really wanting to try and do dip powder myself on my natural nails. So have short nails and just, you know, play around with doing them myself. The cost of doing this was literally like as much as I would have spent on getting my nails done one time. So I don't really regret it. Might've been a little bit more, but this is something that I will be able to use again, because even if I start going back to getting my nails done, I can always use it for my toes and for my sister. Cause I like to do her nails occasionally. So I'm trying to think about it like, okay, it's not a complete waste of money because I'm not getting my nails done this time around. Instead decided to spend the money on this. And maybe if I do a good enough job, I will just start doing my nails myself. And I also got this Kiss Power File nail file thingy because I feel like I'm gonna need these tools to like file my nails down. So I'll show you guys what I got. First of all, I got a cuticle softener. Oh, and I forgot to say, I spent $10 to get my acrylics off professionally because I didn't wanna go through soaking them and trying to get it off myself. I get really, really annoyed with trying to get that off. So I feel like just having a fresh base, having them take it off would be the best way for me to like kind of introduce starting to do my nails myself. Here's everything I got though. I got three different colors of dip powder. Initially, I was gonna get nail tips and like attempt to either do like poly gel or like stick on nails, but then I was like, you know what? Why not just rock my short little nails and do the dip? It's like the easiest way, I think, for you to do your nails at home. Everything here. First one is called Bubble Bath Pink, and it reminds me of OPI Bubble Bath. It's like a milky white color. And then this other one is black, which is the one that I'm probably gonna do, and it's just called Good Night. I wanted to do the black because like fall. And then this other one is called Frosted Caviar. 
what a strange name and it's like a shiny sparkly like purple color and i didn't really know what these look like based on the pictures so i looked up the swatches online so i got that and then i got this is like a three-step system so this is the nail primer step one and then i got step two which is the base and top coat top gel I don't know and then i got the gel activator i feel like there's like parts of the acrylic that are like still on my nail bed that she missed but i'm gonna attempt to do that and we're gonna see if i can do my nails well that's not a good sign this already came off the only one that i'm thinking i'm gonna end up like i don't even know what these are for i'm probably just gonna use this one I'm actually gonna use the cuticle stuff first. So we put this on and then apply on the cuticle area and then wait for 45 seconds. Can you guys believe I'm actually doing my own nails right now? It's been so long. I'm just gonna attempt to file off the remaining part of the acrylic that she left behind, which is like what I was trying to do before, but it's kind of hard to. They make this look so easy at the nail salon. I should have really looked at the tips that this came with because I was hoping it was gonna have like similar tips to the nail salon because I can kind of like know what they use, but these are way different looking. Like it's like a bunch of flat top ones. It only comes with a couple of normal ones and this is one of them and it's still not like the one at the nail salon. It's not really like, I guess it's, actually, yeah, I guess it's working. It's just like I have to hold it at an angle. This definitely is working better than this is. So that's disappointing. I honestly might return this. I think this is not very good. I, just, I guess I just don't like the heads. Like it feels like it's powerful enough, but. Okay, the first thing I'm doing is taking this nail primer. This is like the dehydrator that they use at the nail salon. And I'm just gonna put that all over my nail. It's just kind of like the base before you get started. Okay, here's what the dip powder looks like. I'm really excited. I love doing black nails around fall. And I'm gonna be using step number two, which is the base coat. And I'm gonna do one finger at a time. And I did watch a video to figure out exactly the best way to do this but it did say to use pretty thin layers so then you're supposed to dip at a 45 degree angle and then pull it out tap off the excess and <laughs> it looks really bad now because there's powder all over my finger but let's keep going <laughs> Just wiped away all the excess powder. Now I'm gonna go in with this gel activator, which is step three. I guess this is supposed to harden it so that way you can file them without messing it up. Okay, here's what they look like after filing. This hand has still not been done yet, so I'm gonna do everything I just did to this hand now, and then we will do the top coat and cure it under my lamp. Okay, my fingers are so like black, it's gross, but I don't wanna rinse them yet because I wanna keep the edges rough. And now I'm gonna take this gel activator again. I'm gonna put it all over my nails and then we're gonna use the top coat, which is just a shiny gel top coat. And then I'll put them in the UV lamp that I have over here. Okay guys, here's the finished product and I'm actually obsessed. 
I can't believe how good these turned out. I've tried to do gel nails before, like just gel, not dip, and it never looks as good as it does in the salon. But from my research, doing dip at home, which lasts longer, is actually easier, and it turned out really, really good. Like there's some flaws. I mean, it's kind of hard to see. Like I try to file them down pretty good to get them all even. Like there's some little bumps which you can see like in the reflection there a little bit. But I mean, overall, like I'm obsessed with how these turned out. They're really, really cute. Oh, yeah.